Hi everybody, this set of videos talks about using non-migrated controls. Um, we're going to show you how to use controls that didn't come with the migrations, that come from any external third party, and uh, how we can use them best in several scenarios, in the scenarios that they're used only once, in the scenarios that they're used multiple places in the code, if they're data bound, or if they are list bound, which is the more complex binding. So let's start with the first one, controls that are used once. Well, let's create a screen. Add new item, UE controller, and we call it non migrated controls. Perfect. So let's say that I want to use the picture box that comes out of .NET. So I can go here to common controls, take picture box, put it on my screen. I can go ahead and choose an image, Firefly logo place it on my screen, and I have my control. It's that easy. Just take it, drop it on your phone, and you can use it any way you like. But, of course, we all love our recompute, and we all love all of our uh, special properties like find visible and everything that is around that. And let's see how do we apply them to non-Firefly control. So by definition, when you take external controls, you need to implement everything around them. So we have some helper classes to get that job done for you. So we'll start by binding the visibility. We only want to show it according to a specific rule. So let's go back to our code. Let's actually, in our team, let's start non-migrated controls. So we'll commit it, later we can see the changes. So first, let's add a member. Okay, go column, we call it show control and we'll place it on our screen. So what we want to do, we want to bind the visibility of this control to the value in this column, in the show control column. Well, to extend the control with migrated code uh, properties, we have a class called control extender. You can see it here. In the theme controls, you will see here an entry called control extender. What we need to do is drop it on the screen and then we need to tell it that it's controlling the picture box control. It's extending the picture box control with additional functionalities that we may need. Now let's give it a good name. Uh, XT picture box. So it will be clear what it is extending. Now, when we click this extender, we get a set of properties. And most importantly, we get a set of bind events where we can bind the allow focus, enable, height, left, top, visible, width, and all of the enter, leave, and input validation properties of it. Let's go to bind its visibility. And we'll say that the visibility is controlled by controller.showControl, just like we do to any visible property of any control. Let's run this. And voila. It works. We can change it, the value to false, it hides, we we'll change the value to true, it works. Actually, recompute is working on a non-migrated control. But let's make this more interesting. Let's say that we want the user to input the actual back color. So let's do here another member, and we we'll call it back color. Perfect. Now, obviously, we don't have a bind back color event over here, but we do have the bind properties event. And this bind properties event allowed us to bind any property of the control to the migrated recompute engine. Let's do that. So here we can say that picture box one dot color will be color dot from name of controller dot color dot trim. Now don't forget to do a try catch around this because obviously not all names will be valid. And uh, let's place the back color on our screen. Let's run this. And we'll change it to true and we'll change this to red or blue or green, or white, whatever we want, and it works. 
We are able to extend any non-migrated controls with recompute and bind visibility and any properties that we like to get it to support the behaviors that we wanted to get. And not only that, you can see here that also advanced anchor can be applied to it, which is also very useful in complex migrated screen. So this is the, the tools that we use when we're doing it in a single form, when we're doing it in one place. For controls that are used all over the application, you would create a base control, which is what we'll cover in our next video. Thanks for watching.